Okay, welcome back. And today we're going to do another example. And this time we're going to talk about how to do one where the um, it goes off the negative infinity. Okay, so if we look at this example here, we're going to use limits. And so all I'm going to do is just rewrite this the similar way that we did before, but now it's going to go off to negative infinity in the bottom here. So let's just rewrite this. So this is going to go from the, oops. So this is going to be a limit. So we're going to write the limit as t approaches negative infinity. And now I'm going to just rewrite the, the integrals. And I'm just going to go from t to 0. And rewrite this as 1 over x squared plus 4 dx. Now, recognize what the form is here. We've got the form of dx, or to me, I'll just use d du over um, u squared plus a squared, right? So this is going to have an inverse tangent um, as an antiderivative. And since a in this case is 2, it's going to be the inverse of 1 over 2, or to me, x over 2, okay? And so that's what we want to make sure we put in there. Okay, so this is going to be, uh, let me write it over here. So if we integrate this, since a is 2 here, because this is 2 squared, what we're going to end up getting is um, tangent inverse of x over 2 evaluated from t to 0. Oh, I forgot the limit. Let me write the limit here. So this is the limit as t approaches negative infinity of this, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this using the fundamental theorem of calculus. And so now this is going to become the limit as t approaches negative infinity of what? It's going to be of tangent inverse of 0 over 2, which is just 0, right? Minus tangent inverse of t over 2. Okay, now, we know for this, we ask ourselves what the what angle, the tangent of what angle equals 0? Well, that's going to be 0. So we know that this is going to be 0. Now, as we're doing this, we're taking the negative inverse tangent of t over 2. So this one is attached to the limit. So what happens to this? The, the, this is going to infinity. So we have to ask ourselves, what angle do we approach or excuse me, the tangent, okay, so what angle do we approach where if we take the tangent of that angle, it goes to infinity? So again, let's just draw our triangle here. Okay, so here's theta. Okay, the tangent of what angle, so again, this is getting bigger, right? So tangent is opposite over adjacent, t over 2. So... This angle, if this means this is getting bigger, right? So how does this get bigger? It has to be that this angle is approaching what? 90 degrees, okay? So as t gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, what's happening to this angle? It's getting larger and eventually it gets going towards 90 degrees or pi over two, right? So that means, or by the way, this, since this is negative, okay, by the way, since this is going to negative infinity, this is actually going to negative pi over 2. Okay, so we're going to negative pi over 2. So, but we're taking the opposite of that, so we're going to get pi over 2. So, let me write that. So this is the limit as t approaches negative infinity of the negative tangent inverse of t over 2. 
And so this will equal the negative of negative pi over 2, which equals pi over 2. And that's your answer. And that's it. See you next time.